Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. I'm finally back to do a cooking video for you guys. I know some of you have been missing the baking and the cooking and it's been really hard because you know when I bake something, I need to eat it, okay? So when I'm making a whole cake, I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm just like eating it and eating it and your girl is trying to be healthy, you know, so so that's why I've been trying to avoid it. I do absolutely love it and I've also been really busy with work, but I will be doing some more. I really miss it and I don't know why throughout summer I enjoy it even more. Today I'm going to be making the Gigi Hadid uh, vodka pasta that I've seen everywhere. There's so many recipes online, I'm following a recipe that I found online so I'll link that in the info box. I gave my little twist to it because I just feel like I need a little bit more like flavor and spice to it um but you can totally skip that i'll mention that later on in the video today's post notification shout out is going to go to sabrina shetty so thank you so much for hitting that bell button i really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so i swear down pasta bread potatoes anything like carbs i could just eat all day every day so this is like such a treat for me right now especially because i've just been eating so healthy lately okay that's enough rambling let's jump onto the pasta okay so these are some of the ingredients you're going to need um i use some chili flakes uh one onion a garlic clove um some pasta shells you can choose whatever pasta you want really but these ones work really well with the sauce some parmesan cheese tomato paste and the chili powder and paprika are optional you can totally skip this but it does give that little kick to it some double cream and some siroc vodka or any vodka um this is optional some bacon lardons that's for my hubby and then some olive oil so i'm gonna first start off by cutting the onion the recipe is t uh, for two but i did slightly more than that so i roughly followed the recipe um but so i just used one whole small onion and just chopped that into small pieces crushed the garlic in this garlic crusher i mean best invention ever it's so convenient I literally cannot live without this and then what else we're gonna get the pan out and then i put a lot of olive oil the recipe says to put a lot of olive oil don't judge me i don't usually put this much but you know the pasta came out good anyways um and then we're gonna put the onions who loves this garlic onion sizzling noise i know right it's so satisfying and oh my god the smell is just to die for i'm gonna put in the garlic and then whilst that's softening i'm going to add in the chili powder and the paprika I put more paprika than the chili powder and you just want to uh, let that cook so that the spices can you know cook for a bit like less than a minute i would say um, and then i used half a cup of tomato paste and i'm so not used to using this much of tomato paste but you know it worked so maybe i can use this for my future recipes i don't know but you just want to let this soften and cook and until like it caramelizes and becomes darker like this just give that a good stir and then i added in one full cup of double cream just over a cup of double cream actually i just added it in a bit more and you want to let this cook and give it a good stir as well and you'll see it will slowly get this rich like orange color um and this is where you want to add in uh, two tablespoons of vodka um, I added two because I did a slightly bigger like portion and I uh, don't ask me why this looks like butter chicken but it's just such a rich orange color I love it and I gave it a quick taste and it just needed a bit more salt and stuff oh and I added some uh, chili flakes not too much um, and yeah just taste um, taste it until you're happy with the seasoning I did kind of like put I think like around 350 grams of pasta um, and you just want to let that boil whilst that was cooking I put aside like two full I would say cups of pasta water because you're going to need that later on after draining the pasta I put a tablespoon of butter to cook I put the pasta in there as well whilst that was cooking and then one like good full cup of like pasta water and you'll see it will make this like buttery sauce once i was happy with that buttery sauce i then added in the uh, chili sauce and yeah you're done here guys you just want to give it a good stir and look how beautiful thick and 
rich that looks it's just like the perfect pasta sauce consistency this recipe didn't even take me that long um it's quite quick and easy so definitely give it a go and it's just, it's just the yummiest thing ever we're gonna plate this up now um a lot of you say that you have this um plate at home i feel like a lot of you have it it's so old um, but i gave myself a nice little portion i put some uh, basil leaves and a good amount of parmesan cheese and there you go it's so good guys so good okay it's taste test time let's see what this tastes like here's the pasta it's so beautiful Okay, let's try this. <laughs> it's so good, it's like really creamy. It has a different taste to it because of the vodka, which is why I really like this. And um, definitely like such an easy recipe. I think this is like one of the easiest pasta recipes and it's so good and creamy. Mm. I'm gonna go enjoy that guys definitely try it out it's so good and so easy you can totally skip the vodka if you don't want that in there let me know in the comments below if you do try this out let me know what you think thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you in my next video love you guys